everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be a DIY all the time marble phone case insert. It's kind of a popular DIY that I've seen going around where they do this for marble stationery, where they do it for scrapbooking and envelopes and to write letters, you know, that snail mail. And these are just a few other examples that I've made other than the black one that I'm about to show you. And to get started, you just need a pan or a cookie sheet, it's up to you, and then a thin layer of shaving cream. And just a heads up, I will be using cardstock instead of paper. I thought it was going to become too flimsy after putting it in all this shaving cream. And I'm also not covering the entire pan because I did cut my cardstock in half, so I didn't need an entire sheet of shaving cream. Alright, so once you have a decent amount of shaving cream down on your pan, the next thing you're going to do is grab your food coloring. And of course, I did not have black liquid food coloring, so me having to improvise as I always have to. All I did was take that Wilton black paste and just get a good hefty amount in a cup and just put a few drops of water just to make sure that the ratio of the paste was a lot more than the water. After you add a few drops of your food coloring into your shaving cream, you're just going to use a spatula to mix it around a little bit. And after you do so, you're just going to grab your cardstock or your paper, whatever you decide to use, and you're going to lay it down flat onto your shaving cream. You're going to lay your cardstock gently down onto that shaving cream, and then you want to be very meticulous and be very slow when kind of smoothing it out because you want to get every little nook and cranny covered on that cardstock or that paper with this shaving cream. So once you're done basically smoothing out the entire cardstock, just go back and forth a few times just to make sure you get every little crevice in there. Like the way I'm doing here, I just kind of go back and forth and make sure that I see the shaving cream moving from one corner to the other. After you pull your cardstock off that shaving cream, it's time to just kind of scrape it off. Here I'm just using this cake spatula that I bought, but you can use a ruler if you have that. After scraping off all that shaving cream, you're going to grab your phone case. I thought I had ordered a clear one, but it came to be frosted, but it doesn't matter. I was still able to see the design through the actual frosted case. So after you let your cardstock dry overnight, you're just going to place your case on top of it, just trying to find a decent design and where you want your phone case to be. Okay, so once I found the initial design that I did like, I just made a little cut incision just so that I can see it when I flip it around to start drawing the phone case. So once you flip your paper around, all you're going to do is just basically trace the inside of that phone case from the outer exterior of it and then the inside as well where you just see the little crevices. And afterwards, you're just going to cut it out. I just use scissors to cut out the edges of it and then a little exacto knife blade to cut it the inside. And once you finish cutting, your marble phone case insert is complete. You're just going to pop it into that clear phone case and then add your phone and it is ready to go. And then lastly, here are two other examples of what I made as well. These just look too pretty to pass up and not to make into phone cases as well. So here's one that I used with orange, pink, and blue. And then this is one that I did just using purple. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. I hope you like this DIY and please subscribe.